I'm Rodney, this is Bob City Mo. Today we're talking about sprockets and chains on the KTM 798-90 Avenger. How do you know when to change your sprockets and your chains? I've had these same sprockets, they're stock sprockets, and I got over 20,000 on the bike. Same with this one, the front. I replaced the chain at 12,000 miles and I got over eight on this one. And the thing is like, how do you know when to replace it? One thing with the chain is like, it starts to stretch. These are the O-ring chains. They'll protect them for a while, but then once water and stuff starts getting in them and that breaks down, those seals break down, then that chain starts to, uh, it wears on itself and it starts stretching. I can always tell a chain's going out because when they start stretching, they're hard to keep tight. Like you can adjust it and make it tight, and then a couple hundred miles, like you have to adjust it again because it's way loose again, right? And it's like you just adjusted it. So it like continues to stretch and you get these things in it like this, it's like a kink, right? How it's not pulled straight and like they bind up kind of twisted. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like this, they get bound up. You know, you see them in different spots. It just doesn't lay flat and smooth. It gets kind of stuck. And like I say, it'll start stretching that and it gets hard to keep tight and you keep adjusting on it. That's when this chain's going out. With the sprockets, if you can look down in here, it's like they get these U's dug out of them and they can start going off center and they, they almost look like toothpicks sticking up. They get worn out pretty good, so. It's that gap in between them that starts wearing out. You can see the gaps in here. They're not like they used to be. It's kind of worn out deeper and hollowed out more. You can see how this one's different than that one. So, and it's kind of like J hooking on it. Could I get more out of this? Maybe, but I'm just going to replace it. I'm going to replace all of them at once. So when I start running Baja here in the next couple weeks, I have a good chain and sprockets going. This chain was doing me good until I got in all the mud and the water. And then I think after that, it started wearing out fast. On the way home, it was stretching pretty bad, so. Now, as far as chain maintenance goes, I don't do anything, really. I don't put oil on it, I don't clean it. I'm pretty much in a dry environment, dusty environment, and just putting oil on it collects more dirt. And So I don't do anything to it. Like I said, the stock chain, I got 12,000 miles out of. Now, if you're in the water and stuff, like I get it. Just a little bit of WD-40, like when I wash it, so it's not rusting up. But that's it as far as maintenance. When I'm on a trip, I don't jack the bike up. I'll just adjust this and scoot them out evenly. And I kick the tire and make sure it's seated as much as possible, tighten everything back down. And, and that's good enough when I'm out on the road. You know, what size sprockets can you do? I'm doing stock. What is it? It's a 16 front with a 45 rear. And that's stock. And what is this? A 520 chain with 118 links, I believe. I'm gonna give a shout out to Victor at Chasing Waypoints. He's got a badass 790 that's all tricked out. And I always call him and ask him for like, uh, what parts to put on when I'm, when I'm thinking about stuff. But he is running a 15 front and a 44 rear. On the 790, I'm not sure about the 890, but on the 790, it doesn't want a tractor real well. You have to clutch it or give it more gas. He says that that gives him more torque for that low tractoring stuff, but it still gives you some top end highway. And that's probably a pretty good alternative, I would think. I think they fixed that on the 890. I think they did the flywheel weight and I don't know if they changed the gearing or not but that's that's kind of the range getting down into baja and stuff i'll probably be doing a lot of highway so i'm just going stuck but yeah i'm going to take it all down and get it off there and i think you can see that right there that washer's crushed up and kind of locks it on i gotta push that down all right i got that off some corrosion going on there there's something sitting in there Pretty tasty. All right, I got everything off. Chain, both sprockets. 
I would say it's pretty close. J and out. All right. I got everything buttoned up. I got the front sprocket on, the rear sprocket on, the chains on. You can see this. I got it tightened down and I got the little, uh, it's like a lock washer. You bend it up so the nut can't spin. I got that on there. That's all set. And then right there, I got the master link. I got it all tight and pretty damn close to where I'm supposed to be. Go a little bling bling this time. It should be good. All I need to do is just go for a test ride. I got everything tightened up. So this is my old master link from the old chain. You can see it's rusting in there. So I'm sure there was other links that were rusting and that's what will cause it to start stretching and then it's hard as hell to keep tight. That's sprockets and chain on a KTM 798-90. Should be ready for some trips. I got tires. Some chains got oil, oil change. I'm about ready to run. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. You want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.